Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today I'm finally doing three looks, swatches, and a full review of my very first full-size Pat McGrath palette. This is the Rose Gold Packaging Limited Edition of the Divine Rose 2 palette. And honestly, this was the first full-size palette that, like, looking at the swatches and the color story, I was just like, mmm. I really want to try it. I've wanted to try the original like full size formula from Pat McGrath for a long time just because I've heard so many people rave about it and that it like changed the game kind of the same way people used to talk about like Natasha Denona shadows for the price point, right? These retail for around $125. That being said, I did not pay the full price. I bought this during the Sephora 20% off sale, but even then it's pricey. So I have, I have thoughts. I have a lot of thoughts. So before I jump into my review, we're going to go into the swatches and the three looks. I have timestamps in the description box down below if you want to go ahead and skip to one of the three looks, the swatches, or my final full review. Let's go ahead and jump in first with the swatches.
So those are the swatches and my three looks. And I have to say, honestly, just like touching the shadow, they feel different and work different than just about any other shadow formula I've tried. So I have to say, just for the experience of trying this formula in these shadows, for me, the experience is worth it. It's, I, I see it the same way that I see when I got my first full size Natasha Denona palette, which was the sun, Sunset palette. It's, it's it's an experience, right? Not That doesn't mean that I think just about every makeup consumer needs to purchase a palette from her. I will get into that. 
So for me, the the formula, the pigmentation, they, they are beautiful shades. And they are really easy, quite honestly, to work with. I get some really quick looks and they look really, really nice. Uh, that being said, uh, wear, they do wear really nice. However, you do need a glitter glue with the shimmers, kind of like Tasha Denona, that you can't really wear, at least in my hooded lids, caveat being I have very hooded lids. If you put one of the shimmers on your lid and you wear it for a full day, at the end of the day, it's gone. It just disappears into my hooded lid. It's just not there anymore. Anymore. Um, so you do need a glitter glue there and you have to be careful when you're wearing the glitter shade so there is the glitter shade down here on the end I wasn't careful when I took off my makeup at the end of the day and when I had it all over my lid and it got into my eye and it hurt it hurt like hell so you have to be really careful when you're wearing that glitter because it is like a chunky gritty glitter and if that gets into your eye it's gonna hurt so now I know and I'm aware so I have to be very careful when I take my makeup off when I'm wearing that specific shade all over my lid all right next I did have an unfortunate situation while I was actually filming one of the looks where this shade right here popped completely out yeah, so I have this habit where if it's my own eyeshadow palette and I'm working, if I use a shade and it kicks up some kick off, I will blow it off like that. Uh, and then I vacuum and I clean up my room, right? It's not a great habit. I'm trying to break it, but I, it's kind of just like my default when I go in. So I was doing my makeup and I did that. And for some reason, literally the entire shade popped out. And it was all over my rug and i'll show you pictures i'll throw pictures up here it got it i literally scooped up what i could from the carpet and i repressed the shade um it did repress well and the shade is just as pigmented and beautiful as it was um but wh why and how the hell did that happen <laughs> that should not be happening in a 125 dollar eyeshadow palette so that knocked this down a few pegs for me it seems to be a very fragile formula which makes me a bit anxious <laughs> about not only just keeping this in my collection because i didn't do anything to this palette i bought it I, I i have used it a few times and then it stayed on my eyeshadow palette bookshelf and like that was it so i don't know how the heck that happened uh yeah so that did kick it down a peg or two especially because it has such bulky sturdy packaging i thought like if anything i could take this traveling and be a little more rough with it because it's got like the sturdy packaging but apparently not all right overall I don't think just for like the shades and the formula that this is probably worth the $125 price point. I think it's worth it for me personally because I've wanted to try this formula and I want to have this experience when I review other products. So like for a reviewer, someone who does this on YouTube as a hobby, yeah, I think it's worth it for me to have this experience like firsthand and be able to tell you, you know, these are what these formulas compare to, right? Um, for the average everyday makeup consumer, unless you're gonna be literally panning this palette, it's not gonna be worth it. It's only gonna be worth it if you're gonna be using this every day, if you find a color story that you will literally like want to pan, you wanna use the palette every day. If this is just like a special treat, you're only gonna use makeup like once every week or once every month, it's, it's not gonna be worth it, really. Personally, I think I'm going to be reaching for this palette specifically for like the duo chrome and the beautiful like shimmer toppers less so for the matte shades because honestly like the matte shades are like just all right and I've got those colors and other formulas that I do like a bit better so personally I really do like the the glitter the duochrome multi-chrome shades more so than the mattes in this palette and that's what I see myself actually bringing this back out to reach for continually so there we have it those are all the looks and my thoughts on this divine rose 2 palette let me know down below what you think of Pat McGrath shadows in general or this particular palette i did notice i did buy this palette on the sephora website during the sephora sale it is no longer available on the sephora website but the uh, palette itself in the special limited edition packaging that i have is still available on the actual pat mcgrath's website i'll have a link down below um, and you can get free shipping in the us if you do pick it up but it is going to be that full 125 dollar price tag thank you guys for watching and i cannot wait to see you in my next video Bye.